Hello Internet! Welcome to The Collective Arcana, a channel all about tabletop gaming. So we did switch over to focusing the channel on Pathfinder 2nd Edition, but I'm still going to do the Critical Role mini videos. I've already gotten all of Vox Machina done and it seems kind of weird to stop in the middle, so um, I'm still painting them, so I'm still going to do videos on them. So next up was Molly Mock. I was really excited to paint him, um, you know, a little scared. <laughs> There's no design on the back to follow, so you have to make something up, which is both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> so depending on how good at freehand painting you are, um, you'll either love that or hate it. There's no official artwork for the back of the coat. A lot of the cosplayers actually have a split um, down the middle, so while their designs are beautiful, they don't quite translate. They could. Um, but they don't quite translate to the mini. And something else you have to keep in mind with something this small is you could match the detail up perfectly, but it's probably going to get lost because it's so tiny. I don't think that this coat would look like this full blown, but I think for something so tiny, I wanted it to make an impact and that you could see what was going on from watching it on the table. Um, but it wouldn't match the artwork, obviously, um, perfectly. So the best thing you can really do is to just kind of sketch some ideas out. I, I sketched some with like a peacock feather. Um, I tried a couple of different ones, but I landed on, on this one with the sun because I wanted something kind of bold. And then basically what I did from there was I took um, a little marker like this one and I kind of sketched out the design that I wanted just to kind of follow while I freehand it. I didn't do great detail or anything, um, but it did kind of help guide me, especially on the straight lines. I will say I should have done his coat more red. Uh, it came out more purple than I meant it to, but when you have all this design, like it's just really difficult unless you're starting completely over um, to change the color. So unfortunately, it's a little purple. So on the shirt, I also know that the collar of the shirt looks different in the artwork, but I felt like on this mini it would get lost and it would just kind of be, the collar would just disappear in the detail. So I went ahead and painted it white and I think it looks good. I like the white. Um, I'm not actually a big fan of the choice in the artwork, to be honest. It, it just looks a little, those colors, I'm not a big fan of those colors. So I just chose to paint it white and that way it would at least stand out. So his pants are actually sculpted, so you can see exactly where the design goes. And I did just follow the art on those. Um, those were actually the easiest, I would say, part of the whole mini. All I can recommend there is to get some small brushes. Um, I know I've talked about these a couple of times, but I'm, I just really like these long bristled thin brushes. Um, I got them on Amazon for pretty cheap. They come in pretty small sizes, so um, I can't recommend them enough. I really like using these for the more, you know, straight line shapes and stuff like that because you can kind of just lay them down and let the the length of the bristles do a lot of the work and you get a cleaner line a lot of times. And they also hold more paint. They don't dry out so fast. So they were very helpful for this mini. Something else I just want to point out is don't forget his tail. It's kind of easy to miss, but it's, it's back there. Um, it gets a little lost on his legs because the mini actually just goes back like there was no distinct line separating his leg from his tail from his coat it was kind of strange so i just had to freehand that in and draw it so you'll probably have to do that too it goes all the way down his boot but that was really the only major um, issue i saw with this mini this is one of the better sculpts in my opinion so anyway, there's a few tips for Molly Mock. I will be finishing up the rest of the Mighty Nine, so keep your eye out for videos on those. I do apologize it's been so long um, since I've posted one of these. I think the last one was when we went to the live Critical Role show, um, the Terry and Darrington Brigade. We got swept up in the holidays and, you know, made some changes to the channel and, you know, these kind of got put on the back burner, unfortunately. But I'm back to painting and I'm excited to get them done. Um, the campaign is getting really good, the story is really good, and I'm, I've been watching and painting every Thursday, so um, hopefully I'll get these videos out much quicker going forward. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.